Hi everyone, so I'm here today with my April book haul, which is a lot bigger than I wanted it to be. It's over 40 books, so yeah, better get to it. Quickly, I want to just briefly mention a book that I've borrowed from a friend. She basically just brought it into me the other week and was like, you need to read this. You absolutely need to read this. So I'm quite surprised that this book isn't yet on my TBR anywhere. I don't own a Kindle version of it or anything. So I'm really happy to have this. And this is Good Me, Bad Me by Ali Land. And this is about a girl whose mother was a serial killer. That's all I really know. It's a psychological thriller. She said she couldn't put it down and she flew through it, so I'm hoping the same will happen for me and I'm going to be reading this straight after my reread of Harry Potter and I'm expecting to fly through it, it's not overly long. I didn't actually get this in April, or did I? I think I might have just about got this in April, but either way I thought I'd better put it in this haul because I'm not sure that I'll have it again by the time I film the May book haul, so yeah. Now on to all the Kindle books that I purchased in the month of April and there's a lot. So first of all we have Girls in Love by Jacqueline Wilson and I don't really know what this one's about and the cover's a little bit like cheesy but at the same time I want to get into reading more Jacqueline Wilson. It's ever since I watched a video by Maddie and B quite some time ago about their Jacqueline Wilson collection it's made me think oh yeah I want to build mine back up from when I was younger so yeah this was just a let's add this to my collection kind of purchase. Next we have False Hearts by Laura Lamb. And this one, again, I'm not really properly sure what it's about. I think it's a thriller. And it says, to save her twin, she must take her identity. And I think they're possibly conjoined twins. I'm not too sure. And they were raised by a cult which banned modern medicine. It's, it's got some stuff going on. And I think it'll be a really gripping and dramatic read. Next, we have a book that I've already read before, but I listened to the audiobook and I wanted to, despite how controversial this may be, I wanted to get a kind of either physical or Kindle copy so I could read it just normally sometime because I really enjoyed it. And this is Girl Online On Tour by Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella. I loved this when I read it, I think it was last year. And so since then I've been thinking I want to own them all in like normal reading copies so that I can read them sometime too as well, rather than just listening to the audiobooks. So yeah, slightly guilty pleasure purchase here, but at least it's not technically adding to my TBR because I have read it. Next we have Red Queen by Christopher Pike, which is the first book in the Witch World series. And I don't really properly know what this is about or why I bought it, to be honest, but why the devil not? So this is a new paranormal suspense novel. And I've not read many of those recently, so I thought I'll give it a go. Next we have The Fifth Elephant by Terry Pratchett and this is the 24th book in the Discworld series by him. And I've been trying to just slowly collect this series because I'd quite like to kind of read them sometime. I'm not in any major rush but I thought it'd be nice to just collect them and build them up and then sort of work through the series as and when. Next we have Lord John and the Hand of Devils by Diana Gabaldon. I don't really know what this is about, but it is obviously the author of the Outlander series, and so I thought, why not give it a go? Next I got the movie tie-in version of Love, Simon, so Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I've not read this book, and so I was like, ooh, 99p, finally a chance to pick it up and give it a go. Then we have Odd Child Out by Jilly McMillan, and I'm not really sure what this is. It's probably some sort of thriller looking at it. it says two best friends, one terrible event. I'm not going to read more than that. As I guessed, it is a thriller of some kind. So going into it blind is the best way to be. Next, we have Cold Feet by Carmel Harrington. And I recently read The Woman at 72 Derry Lane by this author. And so I was on a mission to pick up more of her books. And this one was 99p. So I was like, yep, grabbing that. Then we have The Next Girl by Carla Kovac and I think this is a thriller as well so I've not really looked into it more than that. Again it was 99p and had a fun cover and that's all I really need for a thriller to be honest. Then we have Time and Time Again by Ben Elton and I'm not too sure what this one's about but again I've read a book by Ben Elton in the past which was Dead Famous and I own another one of his but I can't think what it's called right now at all. Nope it's gone. So I again he's like he's for now at least an auto by author so I thought I'd pick this up and give it a go. Next we have The Vanishing of Audrey Wilde and this is by Eve Chase 
And this is a historical fiction set in 1959. And I think it's got a little bit of a thriller kind of aspect to it too. So I'm not learning my lesson with historical thrillers, it would seem, because I have had a bad experience of one recently. But I, well, two even recently, because they're from the same series. But I feel like when they're done well, it's like my perfect genre because I love historical fiction and I love thrillers. Next we have Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. And I used to see this one about quite a bit on booktube a year or two ago, whenever it was it came out. And for some reason I never picked it up and I did have to double check that I'd not picked it up before I purchased this version. So I'm not really sure what it's about. I do remember seeing it about a lot and I just thought I'd give it a go because why not? 99p, I can't help myself. This is why this book haul is so big. Next we have Dark Matter, which is the first book in the Contagion series by Terry Terry. And this is apparently a new trilogy, which is a teen psychological thriller. Next we have Valiant by Holly Black, a really popular author on booktube. And so I've been meaning to pick up more of her books. So I saw this at 99pm and was like, yep, get in that. Same story with this one too, which is Ironside again by Holly Black. Then we have Severed Heads, Broken Hearts, and this is another one by Robin Schneider. I'd obviously sort of decided that while all these were on 99p and the popular booktube authors, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna binge buy because the 99p. This is why the book haul's so huge. Next we have No Virgin by Anne Cassidy, and this cover just really stood out to me and made me go, oh, what's this about? This one, I feel like it's a really important reading. It's not one I just picked up just because. It's like one that I really, really want to read because it deals with sexual attacks and how this girl sort of deals with her attack and I think that it'll just be really heartbreaking and difficult to read but at the same time really important to read and hopefully if it's done well it'll be one of those books that everyone should pick up. Oh I don't know how to say this one. Tithe? T -t tithe? <laughs> it's got to be Tithe hasn't it? Uh, by Holly Black so Again, the same as the other Holly Black ones. I just wanted to get more of her titles and have a bit of a choice. And the final Kindle book that I bought last month is Goosebumps Hall of Horrors, The Five Masks of Doctor Scream. And it's some sort of special edition. I used to love Goosebumps books as a child. And recently I've been thinking about kind of building my collection back up. And ideally it'd be nice to build my collection up in physical copies. But in the meantime, Kindle copies at 99p will do just fine. I've got a dead leg so the angle's probably changed a little bit because I've had to stop sitting on my foot. Oh, it'd have been so much easier if I'd just bothered setting this up properly, but never mind. So, oh, that wasn't the last Kindle book I purchased. The last one seems to be Serena by Ron Rash. And this is a historical fiction set in 1929 in uh, America by the looks of it. I'm not sure how this made it onto my TBR because it's been on there for ages. So um, hopefully it means that someone read and really enjoyed this one and so it caught my attention. We'll go with that. So now on to the NetGalley books. The first book I have here is The Other Couple by Sarah J. Norton. Ooh, so uncomfortable. Maybe this angle will work. This is a thriller, I believe. So it says, this is meant to be the perfect honeymoon and paradise has turned into a nightmare. So this one gave me real... Um, the Honeymoon by Tracy, Bo I can't remember my last name, Tracy something that I read, I think it was last year. So this has given me that sort of vibe and I quite enjoyed that book so I thought I'll pick this one up and give this one a go too. Next we have The Wisdom of Sally Red Shoes by Ruth Hogan and this says, so Masha's life has stopped. Once spirited, independent woman with a rebellious streak, her life has been forever changed by a tragic event Tragic event 12 years ago. Unable to let go of her grief, she finds solace in the silent company of the souls of her local Victorian cemetery and at the town's at Lido, where she seeks refuge underwater, safe from the noise and pain. Then we have Bookshop Girl by Chloe Coles. And this is described as being a hilarious tale of female friendship, bookshops and fighting for a cause. I love the idea of a book set about bookshops and female friendship, so why not? Then probably the book I am most excited about in this entire haul, and that is Tell Me No Lies by A.V. Geiger, which, oh my goodness, when I got accepted for this, you should have seen me. I was just like dancing around work like some sort of excitable mess, because this is the follow-up 
to follow me back which I read last year and was one of my favourite reads of the year and I absolutely adored it. Like I'm definitely going to reread that because it was such a quick read anyway and then read this straight afterwards because oh my god I want that book to be as fresh in my head as possible for this sequel which is the final book in the duology. It's going to be fantastic and I'm just so 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 I can't even explain how excited I am to read this. It's a YA thriller but it's about a girl who is really obsessed with this celebrity and she starts tweeting him on Twitter and things get a bit dark from there and I'm sure this sequel will be equally dark. Next we have The Last Summer of the Garrett Girls by Jessica Spotswood. Jessica Spotswood is an author I've heard people mention on booktube before so that stood out to me and so I thought I'd check it out and it says one summer will challenge everything the Garrett sisters thought they knew about themselves and each other in this captivating new novel. So I thought I'd give it a go. Next we have Bruger Born by Zareda Cordova and this says Lula must let go of her ghosts of her past to face the actual living dead of her present. I'm not going to say any more than that because I feel like if I remember correctly I'd accidentally picked up the second book in a series. I think that's this book if I remember right. Either way I don't want to spoil it for myself or for any of you. Next we have What You Left Me by Bridget Morrissey. And this says, If I Stay meets while you were sleeping in this beautiful and heartbreaking novel told in dual perspectives about friendship, family and all the other threads that bind us together. Then we have What Did I Do by Jessica Jarvie. And this is a psychological thriller. I don't know anything more than that. Going into the thrillers blind. Next we have Mine by J.L. Butler. And this says, Facial Attraction meets Apple Tree Yard. So again, this is another psychological thriller and it says, my client, my lover, her husband, my obsession. Then we have Grist Mill Road by Christopher J. Yates. And this is a, another psychological thriller. Don't know more than that. Next we have Lucky Break by Rob Stevens. And, oh, this is the one that I wasn't sure what it was about when I filmed my May TBR. So this is Leon's twin, Lenny, had the best imagination in the world. He could do a backflip from a standing start and tell rude jokes non-stop for hours. But a year ago, Lenny died and Leon's family hasn't been the same since. Next we have Embassy of the Dead by Will Mabbitt. And this cover caught my eye because that is just so eye-catching and bright. So this is the first book in a spookily funny new series where the living meets the dead and survival in a race against time. And this is middle grade, so yeah, exciting love a good middle grade because you can fly through them and feel really accomplished. Next we have Love Will Tear Us Apart by Holly Seddon and this is a novel about family friendships, relationships and a marriage in crisis. Next we have a book that I'm not gonna lie I requested because of the cover and then obviously I read the description as well and I'm sure I remember it being a historical fiction. Let's check and see. So this is Tomorrow by Damien Dibbon. Look at that cute Weimaraner on that cover. So, yeah, Tomorrow tells the story of a 217 year old dog and his search for his lost master. His adventures take him through the London Frost Fair, the strange court of King Charles I, the wars of the Spanish succession. This definitely looks a really interesting and different read. I love books from the perspective of dogs. Next we have a book that is definitely a thriller, you can tell just from the cover alone, it says You Were Gone by Tim Weaver. Then I have A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan and I first saw this on Aoife's channel over at Fred Weasley Died Laughing the other week because she'd picked it up from the library so I actually saw it was also on NetGalley so I was like oh yes request. So this is a book about witches and family sacrifice, love and magic, that's all I really know but that cover is eye-catching and I just had to know what was on the inside. Next we have A Secret Beat by Rebecca Dent and I can't remember what this one's about so it says you've got one shot. Alexia Falls is 18 living in her parents New York penthouse and working with superstar boy band The Keep. But with her heart set on independence and a career behind the camera she trades it all for a take or leave it internship at London's Bright Star Productions. Next we have The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Karen Slaughter is an author I've heard an awful lot about but I've still not got round to reading any of her books at all so I went and requested this one and of course it's a psychological thriller crimey kind of book. Next we have Geekerella by Ashley Poston and this got a lot of attention on booktube was it a year or so ago? And it's basically a Cinderella retelling and it's like a YA so I thought I'd give this a go because people did really love it. 
Next we have First to Die by Alex Cam. And this is another psychological thriller. Don't know more than that. Then we have The Banker's Wife by Christina Alger. And again, another psychological thriller, so I don't know anything about it at all. And finally, we have The Foils Bookshop Girls by Elaine Roberts. I requested this one because A, I adore foils. Like, whenever I go to London, I'm always in foils. But also, it's a historical fiction set just before the war, I think. Yeah, so it's set in London in 1914. And I just thought that this would be such an interesting read, combining my historical fiction love with, like, what it would have been like to work then in a bookshop. And, yeah, I'm just pretty, pretty interested in this one. And I'm hoping to get to it in a timely manner, uh, especially since its publication date is the 1st of June. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get to this one really soon. But that brings us to the end of this book haul. Thank goodness, because my legs really ache. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you're excited for any of these books, and if so, which ones in the comments down below. Let me know what you bought in the month of April, whether uh, you've managed to buy as many as me, request as many as me, and just generally acquire as many as me. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the image of me if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.